And I turned the TV on and boom. And I just burst into tears. Burst into sobbing tears. Because um, I wasn't expecting it. This, you know, shows people that um, you can't do this anymore. This is the beginning. It's a watershed moment, as everyone has been saying. Um, it's a seismic, seismic shift in our culture. This is a very wealthy, powerful, white male. It's a big deal. I, I believe that he deserves prison, to be in prison for the rest of his life because this isn't gonna stop. He'll continue this. The fact that he doesn't understand what he's done and denies what he does and what he's done and that it's consensual, like he doesn't even get that what he's done, all of it is wrong. And he thought that he could get away with it because he was a powerful man. And most powerful men that we see as far up as our, the White House, it's okay to grab a woman, you know? Uh, it's like, no, no, this isn't okay. So we are going to change this, we are. First of all, I feel much more safe and I feel uh, just elated, like every cell of my being feels like, oh my God, it, you know, we have done it. We have finally done it. And I hope it really says to all those other predators in the world, we're coming for you next, buddy. You know, really, enough is enough. To now be here hearing that he's at Rikers Island, uh, you know, he's, he's already in jail, uh, that, uh, you know, it really makes me super happy to just know that we all stood up and we made a difference that's going to hopefully last. I feel like the fact that he's going to be behind bars will be an actual and literal uh, vision of what we've all felt like we're in because we've felt behind bars. To know that now he can actually feel just a, a little bit of what we felt, um, you know, makes me feel like we're getting to a place where, you know, humans aren't going to hopefully behave this way anymore.